What is up guys? Uh, I'm coming to you today from the firehouse since I am on shift. Did not do a video yesterday as you guys probably all saw and I apologize again. I was super busy all day long. By the time I got home I was just exhausted and wanted to go to bed because I knew I was coming to work today. I promise I will get a video up of my weekend even though I'm sure you guys don't really care too much but I thought it was pretty cool. I just got to get all those pictures. There's like I think 200 pictures off of Kristen's uh, camera and figure out which ones I want to use exactly and a couple of videos I took while I was there. <laughs> Colin, you want to know what we do with our weekends? Uh, like you said, my schedule is pretty random, so sometimes I work on the weekends and sometimes I don't. So I'm just going to answer with what I do when I'm on. Uh, pretty much, uh, if the Jeep's broken, I work on the Jeep. Otherwise, I'll see Kristen, or like I did last weekend, I try to go camping or something like that. Pretty much just try to get to the outdoors as much as I can. And of course, I will splurge and play some video games for a while too. Um, which brings me to Rocket League. Uh, they're doing a pretty awesome thing. They are doing the downloadable content for free coming in November and uh, December. And this is like revolutionary because... It's not going to cost us any money and it completely switches up the entire game. There's all kinds of new modes coming out and I think that's pretty cool that a game game developer system, whatever, is going to go ahead and do something like that, which I think should be a big wake-up call to everybody in the industry. So I'm pretty pumped for that. I am also really enjoying all these philosophical and moral code questions we've been kind of touching on. And Mikey, yours, you were talking about the guy who got mugged and the guy who just walked by him and didn't do anything and i think that really will come down to what your morals and your you know personal code is in that situation for me personally i couldn't just walk past somebody who was lying there or who just been mugged i you know i'm a fireman that's what i do with my job i help people out so that's kind of that's one of my morals i will help somebody so in my eyes the guy who walked by was also in the wrong but that's only in my eyes, so it might be different for you guys, it might have been different for him. It just comes down to what your specific morals are and how you feel. So regardless if I'm involved in somebody's life or not, if I see them hurt or in trouble or something, I'm going to step in and see what I can do to help. So that's it for me. Since I'm at the firehouse today, I'm just going to try to make this super short and quick so that I don't get interrupted in, while I'm making this. Um, I will be back at the end of the week with another one. Um, me and Mikey are probably going to do an unboxing on our bo our blocks, nerd blocks that we got. Um, I don't know if mine's here because I was gone today and Mikey said he got his. So we'll go ahead and wait and open those together for a video. And then I'll make sure I get up my one of all my pictures and videos from Devil's Lake. And that'll be kind of like a photo collage that kind of goes with both what you guys did at the end of last week with the 5K and Colin with your boat race. So. I will see you guys next time for some more interesting stuff.